Did you know that in ARCHICAD you have a vast option to select the window for your projects? Today I'm going to talk about window tool in ARCHICAD. So like this video and let's learn, practice and share. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Math Tutorials. Today we're going to talk about another important element in architecture, windows, which you can draw this in ARCHICAD with window tool. I just draw all the windows that you could have in ARCHICAD and uh, if you take a look of them uh, you will see that you don't have any limitation to work with windows and that's true you can have many options many design style and many shapes for your windows on the previous tutorial I explained the door tool and how we can go from this simple door to something like this Today we're going to do the same thing for the windows. So I go to plan view and here I'm going to draw a simple wall like that and then I'm going to move it. I'm going to select the window tool here on the setting dialog. Like doors on the windows uh, library we have so many options, we have so many uh, designs, we have so many uh, window objects that I just show you on the 3D view. I'm going to choose just a simple window, window 25, which uh, 25 is the version of the ARCHICAD that I'm using. I'm going to select it. I'm not going to change the dimension. Click OK. And then here on the wall, I have this shape that represent the exterior of uh, the window. So for example, here is the exterior of the wall. I'm going to set this uh, exterior by one click and then the opening side of the window. You might not see the opening line here because we're going to change it in the setting dialog. But also here on the plan view, you can edit the dimension. You can uh, open the window like that with this pink point. And of course, you can copy the same window by holding Control Shift D on your keyboard and then drag it to the same wall. Of course, if I have uh, another wall here, you cannot drag this wall by Control Shift D to the other wall. But if you want to have the same window on another wall, you can keep the Alt key down and one click on the selected window that you want. And then on any walls that you want, you can click just once and have the same window. OK, I'm going to delete these two. And this one. I'm going to set this one back to the zero where it was. And here on the info box, we have the dimensions. This one is the width, height, the distance from the ground floor. And um, reveal, we could flip the opening. So for example, if this is like that, and if I flip it, uh, the window opens on the other side. And then we have marking tools and how we want to see the uh, window on the floor plan and sections. So I'm going to close this one. And I want to take a look at this uh, simple window on the dialog box here, exactly like the doors. Uh, here we have uh, dimensions, the, the distance from the ground floor and the reveal. And this one is the anchor point for drawing uh, a window. Also here we can uh, flip the windows. On the window settings, I'm going to go to the first page that I have here, which is the nominal sizes and tolerance. As you see here, you can set the dimensions for the windows. And uh, on this one uh, represent the plan view and this one is the section view. By, by these numbers and these elements, you can understand that how you can set a value for the windows parts. On the second page, we could set the uh, transom for the windows. So if I click uh, here on the 3D view, uh, you will see that I could select if you want to have the upper transom, lower transom, or of course both. And uh, here we can set the uh, distance for the upper transom and lower transom. 
so I'm going to uncheck these two and move on to the next page. Here we can set that how do we want this uh, window to be opened. Uh, so for example, it's a fixed window. It's not an opening. Uh, here we have opening on the side. We have a tilt turn on the top uh, or bottom hung. Or you can set it to sliding, sliding uh, on the, uh, both sides and so many other options that you see here. So I'm going to put it on the side hung. Then here we could set the detail that we see on the plan view or on the 3D view. So to see all the details, I'm going to put it on the full. And uh, for the plan view, I'm going to put it on 1 to 50. And then um, if I hit OK, you will see that uh, all these frames, the glass and everything is uh, clear here. And uh, this window doesn't show like this, just one line in between two lines. It has more details. So I'm going to select the same window again and move on with the pages that we have here. Here we could set the frame dimensions. This one that is a frame of the opening and this one is the frame that is fixed with the wall. On the next page, we can unify the uh, frame for the windows just by checking this box here. And uh, then if I change uh, this number to something like that, all the frames width will be changed at the same time. On the next page, we can set a different style for the sash. By clicking on this, we could have these options. For example, if I set uh, to the HV grid, we could set a different values for panels numbers. And for example, here on the horizontal, I would like to go for five. So we can design uh, this window in any shape that we want. Also here, we can set the dimensions for this grid. For example, I can reduce the width and I can increase the thickness of these grids. And we can set where do we want these grids beside the glass, in front of the glass, or throughout the glass. So I'm going to move into the next page. Here we can set the handle for the window. Now we don't see any handles because uh, this uh, box, it's not checked. So if we look on the other side here, we have handle. And also we can change the style of the handle if you wish. So I'm going to uncheck it and move on. Here we could have a natural ventilation on the top. Then here we could uh, set an opening degree for the openings. For example, I can set that I want this uh, window to be opened 45 degrees in the 3D view. Also, we can set the opening on the plan view right in the same page. So I'm going to put it back to zero and move on to the next page. Here on the plan view, we can see the opening lines. So if I set this one to 45 for the 3D view and also this one for the uh, plan view for the 2D view, um, here we can um, modify this curved line here. I'm going to check the override and here we can set that uh, this line will be straight or curved. And also we can set a different line style for uh, this window. And here we can set the color for opening line. For example, here is uh, orange. I can set it to blue and this will change to blue. Also on the 3D view, it's going to be the same. The opening lines are uh, blue right now. If uh, we don't want to see these opening lines, we can just uh, uncheck the opening line and these lines will be disappear. I'm going to move on to the next page. The first item is setting the details for the 3D view and if we want to have the shadow or not. And then we, we can uh, override for the 3D view projections. And then for the materials, we can uh, unify all the elements of the windows and we could set a different type of uh, material for the window. So for this case, I'm going to put this window to blue and then the glass is on the glass material by default. Also here we can set a different pen line for the frame, the sash and the glass. On the next page, we're going to have the reveal for the windows and we could set a different cuts for the wall that how the window meets the wall. 
For example, if I select this one, I can change the distance that this window has to the wall surface. And of course, I can uh, set up the oversized openings for the window. Also, with this item, we can set that uh, this interior side of the wall have the same material of the surface or have the same material of the wall edge. On the next page, we could have more control of the angles of the reveal, uh, the distances and the degrees and everything. I'm going to put it back to the normal window and move on to the next page. Here we could have wall closure, which uh, in this case, in this type of windows, it's not activated. So I'm going to move on to the inset. If I click on this, we could set the distance from the surface of the current wall that we draw the window and uh, the lower part of the wall under the window. So we usually uh, see this in historical plans or in old buildings. On the next page, we could have a masonry arc for the top. And uh, of course, we could set a different style for the top side of the window. And of course, we could control all the dimensions and distances. On the next page, we can set the material for the masonry arc and how do we want to see it uh, on the 3D view. On the next page, we can set casing uh, for the walls. We, can, we could have seal uh, with different style for lower part of the window. And we could have sunshade for the windows with this style of these pictures that you can see. So I'm going to move on. Here we can take control of the uh, seal with all the dimensions, all the degrees and the distance of uh, the wall opening. Uh, the next one, uh, we can take control of the board that here we could have under the window. And of course, all the dimensions. Here we could take control of the casing and uh, all the elements that make this casing on the wall. Also on the next page, we could uh, do the same for inside. So we could take control of outside and inside separately. And on the next page, we could take control of the sunshade and the style of the sunshade for the window that we are designing. So for example, I'm going to select something like that. And here we could uh, see uh, this type of sunshade. Here we could set a different style for the sunshade. This could be sliding. This could be folding on the reveal. And we could have a regular sunshade. Uh, we could have a decorative one. And of course, we could take control of the sunshade frame and the boards that containing the sunshade. On the next page, we could modify the window that how it uh, meets another window on the corner of the wall. So for example, here, if I check the custom corner, we could set the degree to the next wall that we have here. And um, for example, if you want to have another window or the same window here for the corners of the walls, we could do also for the both side of the window. So I'm going to uncheck these two and I'm going back to sunshade and I'm going to put it on decorative. Also, I'm going to set like that. And then I move on to model attributes, which we could uh, set the materials for the seal, the casing and the sunshade. On the next page, we could modify that. How do we want to see this window on uh, the plan view? Here we set the detail. Here we could set uh, different lines for the wall counters and uh, we could set a different colors. We could also have uh, feelings for this cutting part and uh, so many other options, so many other lines that we could uh, take control of for drawing this window. And the last one is more information of uh, this window that we designed, the cost of uh, building it, the manufacturer, and so many other informations that you usually use for uh, beam engineers. On the next tab, we have a floor plan and section 
that how do we want to see uh, the window if, for example, the, the section line from the plan goes through this window. And the last one is dimension marker that you could set a type of marker for the windows, uh, the dimensions and more information for this window. So I'm going to put it back to no marker. And then also the, this last one is more information for this wall if it's uh, going to be renovated, uh, the structural type and uh, so many other informations that be used by BIM architects. So I'm going to hit OK. And now the window has been changed to uh, this one that we designed. And also here you can see all the details. Uh, these are the shadings and um, all the frames. And even you can see the dashed line for the surface of the wall. Now let's take a look at it on the 3D view. This is the window that we just designed. I can select this window and I can move it easily through the wall. Also, I can uh, change the dimensions with these two options up here. I can set a different width and I'll, also I can set a different height for the window. And this is it for how you can draw and control of any windows on the ArchiCAD. Also, you can have uh, some more options for some of uh, the special windows here in the ArchiCAD library, but the options are almost the same. And uh, I'm sure you can design so many other windows and much better, maybe much more modern windows here in um, ArchiCAD. So if you have more questions, please write it down on the comment section. I'm going to uh, read all of your questions and I'm going to answer them all. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. Also, I have so many other tutorials in my channel. You can take a look at them. And also, don't forget to subscribe. If this is the first time that you are visiting my channel, uh, I would really appreciate it. Also, if you know something more about the windows, how you can uh, draw and modify it. If there's something that I didn't mention in this video, please write it down on the comments and let's help each other to learn more to be a better architect. Don't forget that we are here to learn from each other, practice for ourselves and share with everyone. So see you in the next tutorial and have a nice day. Bye-bye.